Welcome back, Joe from MetroPhotog.com. Make sure you check out the site, MetroPhotog.com, and uh, check out the bios, gallery, and uh, hit us up at the contact page. On uh, this video, I'm going to be showing you what I have in my bag, what I take along with me when I'm out shooting, uh, from sports to uh, just general walk around um, street photography. So, check out all the equipment. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions on any of this stuff or you want to know where I got any of it. So enjoy. So this is my Pelican 1500 case. Uh, I got this on Amazon. When you buy the 1500 case, um, like I did on Amazon, you get the, the foam kit, which is the top side foam, the pick and pluck, um, mid foam set, which is just like it says, pick and pluck. You could pull the pieces out there perforated. I don't know if you can see that. And then the uh, this is the bottom foam. So that's the way it comes. Um, once once I open it up, you'll see I now have the, uh, the headed uh, divider set. And these are some extras. And they basically have Velcro system on them that you could move them around, which is a lot more practical for when you have uh, a lot of different gear and you want to change it up. The pick and pluck, once you pull the foam out, you can't put it back in unless you glue it. So the padded dividers are a lot better for that. Uh, we're going to have a video coming up about the Pelican 1500 case and, and Pelican cases in general. They're great cases if you don't know what they are. Um, they're, they're basically indestructible, waterproof, shockproof. Um, they show videos of people driving cars over them. Uh, we, I've used them in the industry, um, in construction, and they, they really are great cases. They do a lot of, uh, a lot of protection for your gear. It's got a great handle on it. It's got areas that you could put uh, locks and this thing. It's it's also you know it's waterproof and it also has a uh, a pressure seal on it too. All right, so let's open it up. So just a quick note: this case I don't carry around with me while I'm taking pictures. Um, basically, this is just a safe transportation of my stuff from the house um, in the car out to where we're going to shoot and then usually I'm able to carry everything that I need with the with the uh, Black Rapid R-Strap RS5. Um, it's a great strap. Maybe we'll do a video on this. It's got pockets just for just about everything that you need. Um, cell phone included. You know, cards, um, ID, whatever, batteries. So this is a really great strap. Very adjustable. You could buy extra um, I think they're called R connectors or whatever, and put them on all your bodies. And I mean, it's just it's great for carrying everything that you need. I mean, obviously not lenses. Uh, I picked up these Canon EF lens um, microfibers, pretty cheap on Amazon, so I always keep one of those. Uh, I guess I'll start with the uh, EF 70 to 200 f 2.8 lens, non IS version with a uh, 77 millimeter Canon UV haze filter. Uh, I got a video coming up on my unboxing of this lens as well as my thoughts and a review on it. So that's the EF 70-200 f 2.8L lens. Put that over there. Um, I also have my battery charger and the sleds for two batteries in here. The batteries are in my battery grip. Next lens is the uh, EFS 55 to 250. I believe it's f 3.5 to 5.6, or it's f 4 to 5.6. So it's variable aperture f 4, f 55 millimeter, f 5.6 all the way out. So EFS 55 to 250 with the uh, lens hood. Uh, another lens, I have the kit lens in here. EFS 18 to 55, and I think this one is the 3.5 to 5.6. It says it on here somewhere. I just can't find it. With the lens hood, of course. Um, I also have a uh, f 1.8 50 millimeter that's on the camera right now, and that's obviously filming this video, so we can't show that. That's the uh, EF 50 millimeter f 1.8. This is an extra lens hood, I believe, for the uh, kit lens. And this is the back cover 
for the uh, 50 millimeter 1.8. Power cable for the uh, battery charger. Put that back in there. Um, I have this little this little carrier here for my memory cards. It's got slots, I think, for nine or twelve memory cards, something like that. It's just a nice place to organize your memory cards. And I also have these plastic little um, covers for the memory cases that came with them, so I kept them. So just an added protection. And also, I put them in here when I put them into the Black Rapid, so they're protected. It's always good to carry extra um, memory cards. Uh, film cam canister. I obviously, I do have a uh, film camera body, and I do usually have extra film in here. I don't know where my other canister is right now. Uh, Canon branded battery grip. It's a great battery grip, the BG E8. I really like this battery grip, and uh, you'll be seeing a battery grip unboxing from Opteca, not from Canon. But uh, I've had this for a while now, and all the buttons are great, and it just provides a level of uh, functionality that's just really, you know, unfortunately isn't there from the factory. So that's the, the battery grip. Um, for, can, for, for camera bodies, the uh, EOS T2i, it's a Rebel T2i. I believe it's the 550D and the KISS X2 in Japan. So that's the T2i. Great camera. Does a lot of great things. Um, it, it's got a lot of great functionality for uh, beginners. It's, it, even you know amateur photographers, it's a great Canon body. Um, obviously, it, it's got you know enough megapixels, 1080p, 30 frames a second, so it does everything I need. Uh, the film camera that I just got. It's not a new camera, obviously, but it's uh, it's an EOS Rebel XS. Um, it's a it's a great little camera. And you know, aside from not having a preview screen on the back, obviously because it's film, it's it's got a lot of great functionality, including you know autofocus for all your EF lenses. I mean, that's another thing. It's an EF mount. I don't know if you can see the red dot there at all, but it is an EF mount. So the EF lenses that I have will work with it. Um, I, right now, I have I think a ISO 132 exposure in there, and uh, it's it's actually a really smart little camera does great things. It's, it's got good ergonomics as well as uh, you know really good features. Has some good auto modes you know as well as full full manual. And we might have a review or a video coming up about that in the future. So that's what I keep in my bag. Um, as you can see now that's the padded divider set. Uh, I can put links below to all the stuff that I have in the description. If you got any questions about any of this stuff um, you could Email us at metrophotog.com slash contact, uh, info at metrophotog.com, and also, you know, you can ask in the comments below, could uh, point you to any of this gear, as well as, uh, as answer any questions that you have on it. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Swag! Stuff we all get. Don't mind me, I'm just no. Is it too dark, the video? It looks kind of dark. Is your light all out? Give me a click. What? Give me one click. There, I'll do it. Oh, there! There's one on this light. Where's the shutter speed? On the side. How does it look? Does it look blown out? Or does it look? I think it's pretty good. Is the frame good? Yeah. Your thirds is good, I think. Okay. It's recording, right? Yeah. You're a minute in right now. Hmm? You're a minute in. That's fine. So enjoy. Good enough, right? One more. Damn pen. I swear. One more. One more, sucker.